Hey y'all, I'm gonna be reacting to Saint to Saint Say episode 16, the original Saint Say off of Netflix's website. And just as a heads up, I'll actually be reacting to it, the original Japanese audio playing the subtitles, and I'll start this reaction in one zero go. And I'll actually, while the intro's playing, I'm gonna talk about why I haven't been doing like the classic Saint Seiya reactions. The reason why is because I waited until the season two of the CG Saint Seiya showed up, so I reacted to it last week, and that's why I waited till this point to react to the episodes, because I just wanted to avoid any potential spoilers before I go into the Netflix CG season two episodes, because I didn't want to risk that there might have been like, cause I know, cause I've heard like um, the next week was going to be filler. I didn't want to risk getting any hints of what I might, what might have shown up. So that's why I'm reacting to it now. And the reason why it took a week after I reacted to the season two episodes of Netflix's Saint Seiya CG, um, Saint Seiya reboot or remake, is because. My schedule. Pretty much just now, I just barely managed to clear up enough time to watch a Saint Say episode. And yeah, now without further delay, the episode is pretty much gonna hmm. start. Okay, it's, it was a minute and 25 seconds. Hell yeah, icky. No, seriously. The name Iki is just a way more badass than Nero. I'm just saying. I mean, okay, but Nero's a cool name too, but it just fits him more, Iki, than Nero. <clears throat> da -da. Man, I miss this music. Gotta admit though, even the recaps here just scream epicness. Even like the narrator sounds so freaking badass. Whoa, what's going on? Whoa. Okay. What? Oh my. Even though we didn't see them get run over by the tank. I'm assuming they did. Whoa. Okay. Jeez. Talk about massive escalation. Cause you didn't even see that in the first season where like, at least you didn't see like these civilizations and villains being wrecked like that. Okay, yeah, talk about raising the stakes. So far so good. At least for now. Whoa. Whoa. We... Holy. Oh. Gee. Jeez. Pope Arnius is a fucked up individual. Yo, I'm huh? like, probably make like a fucking. Deep pull of it. All right. Hmm. The action, action scene is doing a while.
Whoa. What the? Okay, that guy, thought that is definitely, it's gonna be like, yo, it's, how am I savage? He's a racist motherfucker too. Jeez. But he's definitely got those, like, sinisterly evil vibes, so. For now, they're doing a great job of making this dude hateable in a good way. Whoa. <laughs> Give in here. Say a PTSD already. <laughs> Yes, let it trigger shyness, soul. Yeah, she's just being all awesome today about it. Code for. She's leaving because he she used the say a button. That's a fucked up way of running like a government or society though. Just some um, having like a natural blood succession. But for the reason being that if the successor isn't a kind hearted one then the society is fucked. Yeah, Tom Tommy didn't do jack shit. Yes. Athena, put that motherfucker in his place. Honestly, though, she sounds like Yoko from Ashtono Jolo. In a good way. Okay. Oh. Hmm. Yo, if that's the case, then they're going to be dealing with someone even stronger than Iki. Oh, jeez. Power, probably. Oh! <laughs> That's a fucked up entrance, though. Then again, Tatsumi kind of deserves it for being a fucking douchebag. To Iki. 
Yep, can't deny Kiki's logic. Yep. Good. Then I'll let him down gently, too. <laughs> Deserves it. And I like how she's just smiling. <laughs> I'm noticing the animation's a bit stiffer than other episodes, though. Probably saying the budget for the bigger fights. I hope. I would hope. I could imagine why, if you get all the golden cloth pieces, you're gonna get a lot of power. And here, Saudi looks greatly drawn. In the previous shot, though, she looked kinda off. But I'm assuming it's just to power himself up. Pope Eddie's probably wants the Golden Cloth for that purpose. Hmm. I actually like that, and it emphasizes just, it emphasizes just the significance of the golden cloth, just as now all the people who have died just trying to get all the political figures throughout history. So in a way I like that scene. It's just kind of fucked up, though, like, they're putting all these stakes on poor Saudi. You know, someone kind of like there deserves a happy life, but that's life. Sometimes you just don't have no chance of pursuing the life you want. You gotta sometimes just deal with the deck of cards you were dealt. And in that case, Saudi has to deal with the deck of cards she was dealt, unfortunately. Yo, the music's good. He don't know, don't know. Don't know, don't know. Don't know, So she me down, you know. He don't know, Jody. Okay, I mean, that shot of Sean looks freaking badass. See, Neo. Dang, it looks cool, too. I'm noticing that when the snow's flying, it's not sticking on the ground, though. Kind of a lack of detail there. It's like... <laughs> Yo. Yo, is that healthy to be sweating that much? <laughs> Jeez. Yo, I mean, Yoga should take some uh, some bucks of water before continuing the push-ups. That is way too much sweat. Oh, my. I like it though, it shows you the intensity of his training. That's that was actually a nice bit of animation. All jokes aside. I like how that man's just layering at his motor like this. The animation looks kinda of derpy in there. And again, there's no snow sticking to the ground or even the buildings. Like in this example, you actually see that at least the snow is stuck to the ground. When it comes to like the type of thing I expect from the animation in the previous shot, in case y'all wondering. Oh. 
Okay, so it all goes back to Pope Eddie's, and I thought the Kratos would at the very least be like the head honcho, but never mind. That's kind of scary, then, if Ares is the one that they follow. Jeez. Oh, that's cute. I honestly... Okay, I was gonna say, I hope nothing bad happens to them, but Seiya's friend's there, so nothing's probably gonna happen. Because she's plop, probably... Pl oh, and the Brock-looking Brock kid. Why do the hair look like completely <laughs> dim in one shot? And then it's black to its dark blue. Got Larry and Arrow there. <laughs> Whoa. Yeah, he didn't do anything. <laughs> but some kids are like that, though. They just like to be super playful sometimes. Whoa. Oh, that's cute. I'll use it as a thumbnail, but then YouTube would be like, Oh no, it's too sexual in nature, even though it's just two people sleep. Well, okay, I definitely can't use that as a thumbnail, but dang, he's stacked, Sean. <laughs> dang. Sean was well drawn there. I'm just saying, gotta... Yes. Yes! The transformations! It's been so long since I've seen them. And the badass music. Okay, why is her hair dim again? Now it's dark. Now it's dim. <laughs> our boy's got the. No, yeah, our boy's got this. This is like nothing to. Yeah, a lot of stills right now. There, at least it's not a build, it's just stills. It's just reusing the motion just with like a ray of light, looking sort of like the inside of a lightsaber. Not a lot of choreography going on in this episode. A shame because like the Iki fight had like amazing choreography. Yeah. Get that foo, Hugo. Get that foo. Wait. Oh, sh. Wait, what? Oh, son of a. Wait. Oh, shit. It. Fuck. You, you can't. It froze. I apologize for that. I don't even know what the fuck happened. Okay. Let me fix this real quick. I was not expecting that. Oh, shit. I'm watching this off of Netflix, too. This is... This is really dumb, because when it comes to Netflix, I... Okay, now, okay, I gotta refix this. It stopped at 18.30, I believe. All right, I'm gonna stop at 18.20. 
I okay, I'm not trying to readjust this to eighteen twenty. And then I gotta check the cameras. There's enough time to. Pl oh shit! Okay, okay. I'm gonna react to this now. Eighteen twenty. I can make it. I'm just gonna have to make a really quick summarization of the episode. Freaking Netflix, though. All right. Oh no! It did not work. Yeah, what was the choreography there? We didn't even see the kick land with his neck. <laughs> yeah, definitely nowhere close to like the best of Saint Seiya. Okay, that attack looks cool though. I I gotta admit, that is bad. Whoa. <laughs> okay, I'm um, hopefully Kiki and Sia show up anytime now because geez. Okay, so all right, I mean, this is cool and all. <laughs> all right, trying to find some information. Can't blame Sorry the temper trying though. Hell yeah. Yes, it's our golden boy. Gonna bust that to create his ass, hopefully. Oof. Yeah, power-wise, I don't think the Rokiesin is going to be able to do it. Because Rokiesin is like multiple attacks at once. We haven't really seen it do any like super epic singular power, power attacks. Although he might be able to combine his cosmos with everyone else. It's a great effect. Okay, this is actually starting to become pretty cool. Okay, that is way too epic. I have to use that as a thumbnail. <laughs> what the fucking running is that? Why would he be scared of the fucking cops? And speaking of which, why was so already so close to the fight? All things considered, she doesn't have any offensive capabilities. My goodness, this feels like a Super Mario Bros. game with the writing. I did not like what they did with Saudi. But, in saying that, all right, I'm gonna just watch the credits. Okay, here's how I feel about this episode. Music was great. I liked the Kiki character interactions. So there were some positives. And on top of that, I gotta say, 
seeing like the sequence where Saudi's telling into like the projected image of her grandfather was actually a good sequence there. When you see it actually cheer up. So there were good moments in this episode. But in saying that, come on now. Dracrady's running from the fucking cops? <laughs> what is this? Like seriously. I, I mean, I'm gonna have to... Yeah, I looked at the clip again. He's like ready to power up. And then he's like, oh. He's like... Yeah, I just have to rewatch this. He's about to power up, then he hears sirens, and he's like, oh no, and then he's got the face like, oh no, the cops. <laughs> really? <laughs> what, the, what can the cops do against a guy with the cloth? So already the writing in this episode is pretty... It's... It's not, it's not good. For that. It, like, the ending botched it up. Everything before that was pretty good, but the ending, I'm gonna have to rate this episode honestly, of the scale of 1 in 10, 1 being abysmal, 10 being exceptional, 5 being average, it's a 4.75 out of 10. Just the cop scene right there, it's like, really? But, I'll hold out hope, maybe the next episode's gonna improve, hopefully, 16, at least for this fill arc. But yeah, that's how I feel, honestly, this episode, wow, animation wasn't great either. Everything was good except for the ending that really botched it up. And the fight choreography was bad. Kind of a step down from the peaks of episodes 14, 15, and episodes 1, which had really good choreography. But yeah, those are just my honest thoughts, y'all. Give me your thoughts on how you feel about my reaction to the episode in the comment section below. Rate the video, share it, subscribe, and I'll see you guys later if you come back for more. Alright, y'all, have a great day. Thank you.